Yeah, uh, both both expecting to go far. I would have expected both of these players to be in the top eight. And we saw definitely that we saw a lot of good sets just now. Yeah. So those sets that also had pretty good players in them that lost are now going to be in these games. So now it's, it's yes. really to the nitty gritty, the yeah. best of the best. So Danny Fan versus Ricky O. After that, we'll have Rockwell versus Prisma Weasel. That'll be the Laura versus Rashid match. Yeah. And then Boken versus Quijibo, uh, which I feel like I've watched them play a bunch actually. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. This, that aggro squirrely style from Colleen that E-Man really employs versus Danny's. Uh, I don't even know what you call it. Just that that wall of Zangief, right? You, you can't cross him up because of the lariat. You don't want to get close, and it's just like this. It's like a, a, a wall crushing you, like two, two walls in a room. So James Bond shit. But we'll see. Colleen already uh, trying to get back to a range that she feels more comfortable at. We've noticed Rikio plays at a range out, like against that Urian from yeah. Alaska, right? That he was playing just way outside of his range. No punish on the Lariat. Oh, uh, that nope. is probably free. Or at least going to be a mix up every time he blocks that, right? Even if that's not a, a strict punish. Oh, no. There's a uh, there's no nowhere to go up there. Oh, nice punish. Yeah, straight to the V trigger. Freeze that guard bar. I love that persistence. It's like I will take the chip, and the stun bar is going nowhere, so yeah. I don't even mind. Uh oh, finding your back against the wall against Zengi. He misses the air SPD, and that's huge. It let her out. Yeah. Because it just turned into a jump back normal. Gave her a little bit of breathing room. She turned it into something. Colleen finding a way out. So huge. Thing he needs you in the corner. His mid screen game's okay. It's the fact that when he gets you to the corner that you usually die. Also, Zangief looks so dope when he's frozen. <laughs> yeah. Looks like those bear furs are actually doing something now. Right? V trigger activated. Oh, you can't. That was that was a little bit greedy. He's looking for something post V trigger block. And there's SPD. Down to 22 on the clock before we end the first round. Yeah. Patient play on both sides. Uh, curious to see how this develops, actually. Because when the first round goes 22, both players are already respecting each other quite a bit. Definitely. And Dr. Danny Fab's definitely taking his time with this. Uh, as Rikio isn't willing to commit too much, but definitely finally going in right now. Right. Gonna go into the hands once again so he can get an interesting setup into the corner. Oh, what a check. <laughs> Love it. Zangief down below half-life. No anti from Colleen. Something that really early on everybody identified as kind of a weakness for her. V-reversal towards oh, the corner, wow. but gets caught after the reversal. EX stun? No, not quite. One so hit close. away. <gasps> that's gonna... Yeah. Yep, that's gonna hit. I knew that uh, Dr. Champagne was gonna try to press buttons down there. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it gets him off of her and definitely sends the message. Oh. One mix-up. Poking away with that medium kick. Oh, oh. no, the armor! Both players at about one hit each, unless all Zengi gets is a jab. Okay, never mind, that works. It's, you know. Just miss spacing that low forward just so enough. Yeah. Danny Fan responding. Yeah, that was rough. What a great whiff punish. Yeah. And it's such a risk free whiff punish in that sort of a situation. It's true. Just hit jab. Did they do something? Sure. And that low forward's such a good tool for Colleen, but you just can't be whiffing it. On block, it's plus one, long range low. Uh, but that was just not where he needed it to be. Round one. E-Man looking pretty confident. Pretty right. comfortable with where uh, where he's at mentally for the match. <gasps> oh. Just. And that that's feels like the Dr. Danny fan special yeah, right there. Yeah, that's the Danny reset. Yeah. And it's like he hits you with that, and now we're going to see Stan Short running bear grass. Yep. You're not going to be holding up. You don't want to hold up. Here we go, though. Colleen. Corner pressure. That freeze bar getting up there. Oh, finds a way out. Stun bar not oh. gone though. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Great blocks on his overhead, and that saved him honestly in this in this set. Great throw break right there. Ah! Oh no! Icicle help. Wow! Gotta respect V trigger when he still has it. All of a sudden, Zangief just has these two. ridiculous long range confirms. Oh yeah. Oh no! I swear we're gonna see running bear grab soon. Oh, oh no! Yeah, it's, this is this is what I was talking about earlier. Oh, the, oh, he had the read. He did have the read. Which, whether whether or not it's it's actually supposed to beat backdash, whatever Colleen did there, whichever normal. But uh, he had the read. He knew she was gonna backdash. 
seen the V-Skill come out. I feel like we haven't seen much of that from Colleen at all, actually. There it Seth is. finds the trees. She's not going to be able to do enough damage to really, like, close this out. Oh, no. Worse yet, that's... Oh, doesn't oh. punish and misses the command grab. Yeah. He, uh, I think he was definitely looking... Oh, no. Boom. Hold the phone. Mangy. Wait a minute. Trigger. Oh, no. No protect that time because that's an SPD. Dash forward? No. Beat trigger. Forward uh, fierce. Shot. Oh, Danny Bam mix ups are too strong. And oh. we are going to see Dr. Oh, Danny yeah. Fam on Weird. Sunday in Street Fighter V Top 8.